Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's official wedding china are revealed as £50 plates and £25 mugs go on sale. The souvenir collection, cornflower blue with white detailing, features a gold monogram of the couple's initials side by side, tied together with the white ribbon and surmounted by Harry's coronet. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's official range of commemorative china celebrating their upcoming nuptials has gone on sale with plates priced at £49 apiece. The souvenir collection, cornflower blue with white detailing, features a gold monogram of the couple's initials side by side, tied together with the white ribbon and surmounted by Harry's coronet. The decorative border on each piece is inspired by St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle the couple's wedding venue. The collection includes a tankard for £39, a pillbox priced at £35, a standard coffee mug for £25 and a miniature coffee mug costing £19.95. It went on sale as Harry and his TV actress bride-to-be made their first joint visit to Northern Ireland on Friday. Harry and his American fiancé will have approved the fine bone china range by the Royal Collection Trust. The border is based on the stylized tree ironwork of the 13th century Gilbertus store of St. George's Chapel, where the couple will marry on May 19. When Harry and Dems Markle's choice of wedding venue was announced, the Prince's Communications Secretary described Windsor as a very special place for Harry and said that the couple had regularly spent time there together during their whirlwind romance. The Galbert store of the chapel is rarely used, though hundreds of tourists and visitors to the chapel pass by it every day. The Queen and other members of the royal family use it to enter the chapel when attending some services at St. George's, such as at Easter. Its ironwork is in the form of a stylized tree and, unusually for a work of its time, bears a name plus Gilbert's. The door is one of the few surviving parts of the earliest chapel at Windsor Castle. The official china, which is finished in 22 karat gold, has been handmade in Stoke-on-Trent using 250-year-old methods and techniques. All profits from sales go to the Royal Collection Trust, the registered charity responsible for the care and conservation of the Royal Collection. The souvenirs are presented in a cornflower blue gift box with a special card explaining the significance of the design. New Arla McGitty, Royal Collection Trust's retail director, said, Royal Collection Trust is delighted to offer the official range of commemorative china to celebrate this happy occasion. We are pleased to continue our support of the potteries of Stoke-on-Trent, who have manufactured our previous commemorative wares to celebrate royal birthdays anniversaries and weddings. The china can be purchased from the Royal Collection Trust's website and in its shops at the Queen's Gallery, Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holy Rood House. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have flown to Northern Ireland for an unannounced visit that follows on from high-profile trips to other parts of the UK. Meghan and Harry have been touring Britain ahead of their May wedding and the prince will introduce his fiancée to Ulster during a series of events. In keeping with royal visits to Northern Ireland details were not released in advance and the itinerary was not disclosed for security reasons. The US actress began her UK tour with Harry in Nottingham a few days after their engagement announcement at the end of November last year. In Brixton the historic home of London's Caribbean community, Meghan and Harry visited a local community centre, then they travelled to Cardiff, with the US actress getting an introduction to Welsh culture. Edinburgh welcomed the couple who visited the city's historic castle and they also toured Birmingham. Harry visited Northern Ireland last November when he opened a new ambulance station in Ballymena, County Antrim and also visited Belfast and Hillsborough Castle, County Down.